guys, listen up. My name is Tommy, and it's the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And today's show is all about the beef short rib. And if you take a look at this uh, short rib, you got uh, all this uh, nice marbling in there. These are right off the uh, shelf. Cost me about 15 bucks. This is definitely something you want to try. This is definitely something you want to look for in your local market. And now listen, all that said, I know it's gonna take me about five to six hours to get these properly cooked, properly smoked. I'm gonna do it 250, we're gonna go low and slow. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, my name's Tommy and this is the Gallery Back in our Barbecue and this is an action-packed show. This is uh, Beef Short Ribs 101. Look, these things are a must make. And look, basically not real lot needs to be done on these. Uh, you do have your bone over here, okay? Well, uh, obviously gonna keep that on. I got a little fat on the top here. That's really not gonna do me much good. So what I'm gonna do is try to get them to look like this. Just a little fat up there, don't need a lot. Our marbling is inside the meat. That's all gonna break down and that's all gonna render. Same thing with this, this fat cap. I don't need that on there. I got a nice marbling inside. So we're just gonna trim these up a little bit. And again, you don't have to get super fancy. Okay, a little fat cap like that's not gonna bother. Take a little meat off like that, who cares? This is a lot of this is uh, a lot of this fat is hard fat. It's gonna do you no good. You leave a little on like that. That's okay. I'm happy with that one. And again, we'll pop a little off on this one. And a little bit more. say I'm happy with that and now look I'm gonna keep this uh, I'm gonna keep this basic with some uh, some grill master Montreal steak seasoning you've all seen this in the store this is good stuff so you can uh, you can copy right along on this cook right you can see some nice uh, coarse garlic in there we got some coarse salt now on this, you don't have to worry about the waste there, really. You don't have to do it there. I'm using no binder, don't need it. And I'll probably spritz these uh, every hour with an apple juice uh, spritz. Probably 50-50 apple juice and uh, water just to, uh, uh, just to make sure they don't dry out. Pretty good right there. And again, we will be uh, rocking these right on the uh, middle shelf like uh, most of my cooks. And again, we're gonna go low and slow at about 250 degrees. If I feel like I need to uh, turn it up a little bit, I will. I'm going with a, an apple wood in the uh, ash catcher and in the chamber, right? That's apple in the ash up top or on the bottom and the uh, hopper, of course. Alrighty, look, we are two hours in to the uh, cook and what I like to do at the uh, two hour mark is uh, just check and see how that uh, See how that rub is setting. Make sure there's no uh, burn uh, spots, no hot spots on the grill. Give it a little feel, give it a little spritz. 
We're doing a 50 a 50 apple or juice and the water right. And just kind of look things over. They look good. And as you can see, uh, they're getting a, a pretty a nice color for sure. Look, here we go on the uh, three hour mark. And you're basically probably looking at about the same thing, right? Just uh, give them a feel. We see there that bark is uh, setting up quite nicely, right? Uh, you want to make sure, again, no hot spots. Give them a little spritz. Just kind of check them over, make sure they're looking good. And uh, as you can see, uh, these bad boys are looking uh, pretty good. These things are probably the most underrated of the uh, smoking world. It's always a brisket, a brisket, a pork butt, and brisket. All these suckers, man. These aim to please. This is like a, well, this is like a prime rib bone, right? This is the best of the best, and these things are good stuff. I got a, a recipe in my mind with uh, making these things and chopping it up and putting it in some like a black bean with some. Uh, and some onions and then uh, so forth. You want to stay tuned for that for sure. That thing is going in my mind, right? We're four hours in and we are looking a pretty good. We will probe them. Now look, temperature is not so, so important. You want to be around the 190 to 200 range, probably closer to 200, but you want to probe in and out like butter. You can see we were still in the 170s, a little pull. So we're going to go for about another hour or so. And of course you want to keep those bad boys moist. And this grill is uh, doing its job. We don't have any hot spots going and she's holding temperature quite nicely. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> now that's for the chef right there, of course. Look, we are 5.3 hours in, and I know these bad boys are going to be done. We will probe them for butter, we will get them off, and we will wrap them up in tin foil to uh, give a little rest. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's hardly any resistance, and you can see we are at that 200 range. Like I said, I'm going to pull these bad boys off, get them in tin foil, and get them to rest. That's a nice little color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you know the rest of the country, but these things are always sitting in my local market. You know, for about 15 bucks for four of them, and. Uh, you know they're they're so worth it, I and mean, they're just uh, they're juicy. I mean these are good stuff. Like I said, we'll get those in the house. We got them rested for a little while in that foil, maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's dinner time, and look at that color. see these things being made a lot more on this show and being made into some uh, different things because they're so versatile you can do a lot with them I mean that is a nice a beefy flavor of course we got that rub you got that fat mixed in oh man and you got a nice bark that's what I'm talking about I said you can make these into sandwiches over rice mixed with pasta. I mean, you can do so much with this. Oh man. I mean, look at that bark. Now, look, those who watch the show know my girl Molly is always at my feet. 
So what we're gonna do is get through our little tree right here, yeah. Look, we're gonna get ready to bow out of this one again, man. This is a good stuff. You gotta, uh, you gotta get these in your market. You gotta make this. These are beef short ribs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, or ring that bell, so you get all of my uh, future uploads. This is a good one. And uh, listen, if you like this master built video, I'm gonna leave a link here and here. You check those out, and we will see you soon.